How are you? I'm doing really well. Good. It's so it's good nice to see you. you. I was just going to say the same thing. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you have two movies out. It's crazy. What the hell? It's crazy. Won't he do it? He will do it all the time. And I just said to myself, I was like, boy, I better hurry up and get another job because I'm going to have a whole year where nothing comes out. You know how this goes. It's feast or famine. Right, right. So yeah. how'd you do that? You shot one movie Monday, Wednesday, Friday, another then, one on Tuesday, Thursday? Yeah, yeah, Sunday, too. They had me working on a Sunday. Wow. No, wow. I, I actually... Um, it just the timing of the release dates yeah, just worked out worked this out. way. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And okay, so in you people, you got Eddie Murphy, Julie Louis Dreyfus, Jonah Hill. I've worked with all of them. Uh and Kenya too. Yeah. Um, but see what you you got to actually work with Eddie Murphy. When I worked with Eddie, it was it was Nutty Professor too, and I pretty much worked with a tennis ball, because he was <laughs> Some days I'll get one Eddie Murphy, but he was, he was you know, all in the makeup as Granny. Yeah, so. and then he, it's exhausting. So sometimes the off-camera stuff, I know the tennis ball thing, I did that with Martin Lawrence. I uh -huh. mean, you kind of, with Big Mama's house, right? right, right same right. kind of concept. Right. He was there. He was there for every single shot. Wow. Yeah, no prosthetic makeup in this one. Uh -huh. So he was there, and he was wonderful, and That's I good. was so excited to finally be old enough to play his wife. <laughs> And now the men always get the younger women, so here we are. There you go. There you go. So, and then your other movie, uh, Missing. Missing. Yes, that's, yes. that's uh, kind of like a, 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 you're like the black woman uh, Liam Neeson in Taken, <laughs> right? <laughs> Be Storm Reed, because she's on a mission right. to find me. Right. And you know what's great about the film is everything is shot through some sort of technical um, device. Right. So it's either an iPhone, a ring cam, you know, a secret phone that's like planted on set somewhere. So every every rule that I've learned about you know film and and television, I had to throw out the window because there were mm -hmm. no overs. There were no. It was just oh, wow. shoot. And don't ask questions, because if you ask questions, you will be more confused. <laughs> so I just had to trust the process. It was yeah. good. Yeah, I, I would have been like with the camera. I was like, "Hey, get that from under my chin. What oh, you no. doing? Bring, this, Listen, bring that up there. I had I had mugs on ladders. Oh yeah, shoot me from up there. Can don't... I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment in the film that actually applies to exactly what you're saying, where I had to like shoot my own coverage in on the cell phone, and I'm like going like this. I'm like, nope, don't roll it yet. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. OK, there we go, stop. And there's... <laughs> a woman knows her light and her angles uh -huh. after a certain amount of time. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, this is a, it, I think it's, a, it's it's great to see, you know, uh, a, a black woman in, in this, this type of role. You know, it's like taking over like a drama thing. So like may, maybe you can like take over like the John Wick uh, movies, right. you know? Yeah, Let's it could be, yeah. It could be like John it's, Wick. It's like, they killed her edges. Yes. And now and she wants revenge. Yes! No more lace fronts. That's right. <laughs> as long as I can wear this coat, I'll play whatever character. <laughs> I need my little... It is fancy. You are fancy. <laughs> you are very fancy, me along. Well, you know what happened? And as I, I, I went to Dubai right before I came here to see Beyonce, and she was incredible. I was like literally <laughs> crying. Wow. I was crying in the audience. I, I'm like a true fan, and that was my first Beyonce concert. Uh -huh. So to see it in Dubai was like one of those moments that I will remember for the rest of my life. So everything in Dubai is blingy. And I'm kind of not blingy, but everything I packed. <laughs> Kinda. Okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> but everything I packed was blingy, so I'm okay. sorry, Wanda. What, this what is if, just uh -huh. blingy. You blingy. You blingy. <laughs> okay, I got. I got to ask you something real quick. <laughs> to ask you something because, because I know how, how it goes. So recently, I'm, I'm going to read it, that, um, there was a headline, right, yeah. where you said, I quote, black movies and black famous only hold us back. Yes. You want to clear that shit up? Because <laughs> you know well, that's not written You correctly. know how it goes, because, you know, they take one headline and turn yeah, yeah, into something, so... Read that again. Let me 
me see that again. Uh, How much time terms, we got? Terms we, like go. black movies and black famous only hold us back. Okay, so what I mean I, I, by you know what ahead. I mean. I know, but go ahead. But but so for them, for the white people in the audience. <laughs> What I mean by that is if we continue to practice this idea of separatism, mm. we continue to divide. Yeah. And I will always and forever hold my fist up because I understand the experience. Mm -hmm. But I also believe that the more we understand about one another and the more accepting we are of one another, this thing called art should be representative of all of us. Thank you.